The Blue Coats North and South is apparently a remake of an Amiga game? If you don't know what an Amiga is, ask your great 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 grandfather, they'll tell you. Campaign solo game. The reason I bought this game is because it looks like it has a first person shooter part, and first person shooters based on the American Civil War are few and far between. There's more than you'd think there is, but there's still not enough. I will be save game one. I will play as the Union. How do I be the Union? Alright, I'm the Union. I'm gonna go, uh, medium, active, 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 sure. I don't know what any of that does. 1861. In 1861, the South starts hostilities when it seizes Fort Sumter. The armies start to amass anything as possible. I don't know. I hope not. I hope only the blue guys winning as possible. Welcome to the strategy map. Yeah, how do I win? Each soldier represents one army, like Risk. During our turn, we can move each of our armies into an adjacent state. This is an enemy army. Our ultimate goal is destroy all the armies. Forts are very important. By controlling two forts, delimiting a railway line. Delimiting a railway? Who knows what delimiting means? We take possession of that line. Railway line control will bring us gold. The gold will be very useful. Okay, so capture the railroad. That's how you win. I do love comical representation of a terrible and bloody conflict. Yeah, it's one of my favorite things. I love it when there's like a cartoon war. It's pretty fun. In April 16... Okay, yeah, we already know. It's your turn. Thank you, Sergeant Guy. All right, let's see who we got up here. New York, get down here. Move down one state. Or move to the fort. Forts are very important. That's what they told me. All right, now you, Wisconsin. Forts are very important. Don't forget they're very important. I have one gold. Can I buy army yet? I can buy weather protection. I can buy jobs. I can buy protective cavalry. Nah, I don't need those. The Union don't need those. Where's the East and West? Yeah, where's the East and West? They should be involved too, to make it a true civil war. Now nah, they got the fort. They're getting that fort. I really want two armies to meet each other so I can have a gun battle. The faction which is controlling the most states will regularly receive gold. Okay, so it is kind of like risk. The Yankee train is moving. Choo-choo. How much do you want to stop playing and leave right now? Uh, not at all? What kind of a question is that? I'm about, to, I'm about to win the Civil War, dude. We can merge up to three armies. You can merge them. The number of cannonballs above the soldier indicates his power level. If we move an army to a state already occupied, they will merge to form a single powerful army. The port in North Carolina gets free reinforcements. Okay, so capture North Carolina. Mexicans can attack armies located in Texas. Avoid these states. They may attack armies located near their hunting grounds. Oh, that's the Indians. Okay, so Indians and Mexicans are always trying to attack as well. So see, there you go. You kind of you got the East and the West. Except not really. <laughs> not really at all. There is other factions, though. That's cool. That's cool they didn't just forget that they exist. That's good. Because sometimes when you read U.S. Civil War, it's like the North and the South were the only two land masses in the entire world during those fateful years. Hmm... When do you protect Whiterun, yeah? Where's the Battle of Whiterun? Uh, let's just move him south. Where, wait, where's the North Carolina port, it said? There it is. Let's, let's try to get North Carolina, because it's a very valuable spot, apparently. Alright, come on down, buddy. We must seize the port. And seize the fort. And then shop... Gives you an extra unit. Okay, so jobs is an army, but for some reason it's called jobs. Place it on one of your free territories. There we go. I don't know why they call buying a new army jobs. That's weird. What's he going to do? Invent the iPhone? Don't be ridiculous. That's a pretty good turn. Pretty good turn for the Union. Oh, no. Oh, my God. It's raining on me. I'm getting rained on big time. I should have brought an umbrella instead of a new core. 
Who even needs an army corps? Who needs those guys? Enemies turn. They want that North Carolina dude. They're moving up. We can have a battle. A conflict can happen. Here we go. Oh, here we go, dude. Here we go. Yeah, rain on them. Reinforcements are on the way. Who gets them? Oh, no, they get them. That's not good. Now I'm outnumbered. Now their battalion is much stronger. Yeah, give me some gold. I need gold to buy more jobs. We have enough gold to buy a new army. Yeah, I know. Already solved that one, buddy. Keep an eye on your faction's gold reserves. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, I will. We need a new army over here to counter this one. I got too much going on over here. Some dude, thanks some dude for subscribing. Who even is that guy? That's just some dude. You can be, uh, let's see, who's the first Civil War guy I can think of? I can think of Grant. He can be Grant. He's some guy. He's some kind of a Civil War guy, I think. Yeah, merge him. Alright, they're merged? They're merged? They're merging? They're merging? Alright, let's do it. Let's have a battle. Fight. I want to see how the battles go. We have six guns, three horses, and one cannon, and they have the same. Oh my god, what is this? I didn't see the controls at all. Conflict is inevitable. Yeah, I, I, I'd agree. It's a pretty accurate statement. Move in all directions. Shoot in a straight line. Change formation. Move forward and to the sides. Sword attack. Change formation. After traversing the battlefield, the cavalry will come back to your side. Okay, so I can do that. Reinforcements replace defeated battalions. Okay. I don't think I understand. Oh, I can be these guys. Kill them. Oh my god, look out, cannon, cannon, look out. Oh my god, my cannon died. You gotta control everything at once, that's crazy. Saber attack, saber attack. Oh, I'm, I'm sucking at this. We're getting massacred. Kill him. Take the bridge, Union. Whoa, look out, Union. <laughs> Keep going, Union. Blast him. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, cannon. Oh my god. Wait, we lost? I thought we had more. I thought we had reinforcements replacing. Where did my reinforcements go? The Yankees are not capturing the state. Yeah, that's putting it lightly. Okay, I did not understand how that worked, clearly. Let's try again. It's raining on this guy, so I should have the advantage, right? He's got no gunpowder. So what is the tactic for this? Is their tactic be the cannon and just blast them? What the- the cannon went like two feet. Kill him. Oh god. I'm gonna get killed. I'm not doing very good at this game, am I? Alright, horses, run. Run, horses. Let that one guy die. It's fine. He's just that guy. We don't care about him. They fell off the cliff. <laughs> their horses fell off the cliff. That's classic. That's classic Confederate right there. All right, bring it on. Die. All right, get him. Get that guy. Did I win? Does that mean Union win? Yeah, Union wins. All right. Real-time turn-based combat. Mm -hmm. Very innovation. Toasty a pasty. Thank you for subscribing. You can be a toasty pastry. It can be one of the pastries Caffeine Man got on his cruise. He was always getting pastries during that. Can I move him? No, I can't move him. Okay, so I kind of get how the real-time battles work now. When does the uh, the first-person shooter part come in, though? It was on the Steam page. That was featured quite prominently. Maybe you gotta rob the train. Give me that there train. I want that Confederate gold. Tactic is to start... Horse charge, then fire cannons before bayonet charge. There's bayonet charge? That's a thing? I only got two horses? Oh, they got one cannon, though. All I gotta do is dodge and weave, right? It should be pretty easy. Dodge and weave, dodge and weave. Dodge and weave. Free win, dude, free win. Free win! Yeah, Union! Woo! This one guy. This one guy conquers the whole state. 
Let's go Union. Train and Fort Battles are different, okay. Uh, this is gonna be quite the conflict. This is gonna be a crazy one. All right, start off with Cannon Blast, I was told. Hit him with the Cannonball. Hit him with these guys. Give him what for, give him what for, give him what for. All right, they were giving what for. Now dodge. Now dodge. Oh, I didn't get the cannon guys out of the way in time. Oh God. I need to do a, like a practice mode before I do this. This is too hard. Getting shredded, we're getting shredded. I had to control the whole army at once. This is, this is like a multitask nightmare. You gotta be everywhere all at the same time. Go get him. <laughs> Go get him. The AI doesn't know. What, did I die? How did I lose? How did my guys lose that? What the heck? Kill him. How did my guys not win that battle? I don't understand. I hit saber attack. The Confederates captured the state. Yeah, not going good. Not good for the Union. Very ineffective commanders here in Union land. This is a little too realistic. Do I got a big econ advantage? I should, right? Is this a balanced game or is it like an accurate game? Like does the North have like infinite money and troops? Place an army on the railway to intercept the train. Okay, gotcha. I mean, yeah, give me that train. Give me that fort actually, that's what I want. Attack the fort. Okay, here we go, this is FPS. Now we're playing a real game. Eliminate all enemies. The number of enemies is shown at the bottom of the screen. Bonuses are shown to the mini-map. All right, I don't know what those mean. Forward Union! Where's my gun? There it is. What the heck was that? Oh, you're, you're here, die. Union. Union, ooh. I'm Union, I'm Union? I'm Union? I'm Union? Oh, I got his hat off. I'm Union? Oh, dude, I'm so Union. I'm gonna go MLG in this game. Oh, they got the cool gun. They got the fast reload. Nice. For better gameplay. Crap, I'm not Union. I'm Union? I'm Union? I'm Union? Where'd he go? Union Blast. Union Blast. How do I melee? I can jump, I can b-hop, here we go. How many more do I gotta kill to win? Do we win yet? Union! Do we just survive, is that what it is? Is this survive a time limit? Is that how we win as the Union? Because if it's survival, that's easy, I'll just hide inside of a house. He's one volley? He's one volley? The different year starts are for balance. You have it easy. Okay, so I picked the maximum union advantage. I'm still losing. I got no ammo. I'm not union. What about melee? Oh, there's melee. Okay. Where's my bayonet? Not even a plug bayonet. Get him, union. He's one volley? He's one volley? Oh crap, oh crap, he's aiming at me. Dude, where is a bullet in this Union game? How about the treasure? Does the treasure have a... No. Oh crap. We lose? Come on. Does that two at the bottom mean I needed to kill two more of them? I think it might have meant there was two more alive. Oh, he's not even completely dead. He's just like gray. He's one horse. He's one horse. Well, good thing the Union's got big money. We gotta buy a new army right here. In that right union. Union, take them on. I'm confident. I, I'm still very, very bad at this. I'm quite horrible at this part of the game. Ooh, or am I? Or am I the best player alive? Yeah, stay back, stay back. No, horses, 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 ugh. 
I wish instead of having to hit L and R to cycle, you could just like hit a face button to auto pick them instantly. That'd be better. Because I'm always trying to cycle when I get it wrong. Oh, those cannons get me. Gotta get those cannons. <laughs> Gotta get those cannons. Die, cannons. Yeah, there we go. Union. Look at that. Why does when the Union wins, it goes... Dun -dun 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 That's not the Union. That's a Dukes of Hazard. This game's pretty fun. It's a pretty fun little classic game. You can boot this one up. Play it for like an hour. I should play the original Amiga version. I should become an Amiga only channel. What do you think? Would that be good? Oh, if only I captured that fort, then I could have seized the train. Invade Canada, yeah. The new tactic. We need North 2. The Union is North 1. Canada can be North 2. Oh, they bought another army? Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, leave me alone. I don't got no unions left over here. They keep killing all my unions. Stop trying to secede from our democracy. He's one, he's one. Oh, I'm one. Crap. Sneak past him. Sneak past him. -na 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 -na. Snake. <laughs> Snake. Try to remember the basics of CQC. Oh, God, here they come. Oh, oh shoot, shoot. They didn't shoot. Didn't work. Man, I'm, those real-time battles are really my Achilles heel. I gotta get better at those. Things are not going good for the Union, dude. The Union's getting destroyed. Not a good time to be Abe Lincoln. Alright, at least I can buy an army each turn. That's good. With my Union gold. Alright, Union, we gotta go right here. We gotta stop this push at all costs. We gotta take that port. That port's very valuable. Alright, send in the cannon blast. To, like, right there. Right? No. Go, horses, go. Get them. Kill their horse. Yeah! Now kill these guys. Or don't. So they just, I, there's no flanking. I can't be like behind them and that gives me a huge advantage. That's not a thing. I guess you can't flank. He's flanking, he's flanking. <laughs> Look out for the Bowser square. Mm -hmm. We call that one Alabama. Always moving right for some reason. Okay, no flanking allowed. What are you, some kind of tactics guy? No tactics allowed. I'll take the fort again. Now that I know that I have to kill 12 confederates or whatever. Let's take the fort. It will be mine. Capture the fort. Yeah, there's 12. I think the 12 means I gotta kill 12 confederates. Which should be easy if I just camp, right? Like, camping should be an easy win. If I be Halo on Legendary, I should be able to do this. Only problem is ammo. If you run out of shots, you're kind of screwed. That guy's on the wall. He's walling, he's walling. Get out of my building. This is my building. Oh, there we go, headshot. What compels somebody to even make this? Like, who who looked at this Amiga game and was like, this needs a remake, dude? Probably someone who just really liked it. They probably just are in charge of a game studio and they really liked this game as a kid. And they're like, we're making this a remake of it. The license costs $5. I think the headshot is a one-hit kill. They keep, they keep getting in behind me. Oh, my God. I'm so bad at this. Pathetic. They keep coming in behind me. I thought my two uh, allies could watch the flank, but the allies are useless. This is the true Union general experience in 1861.
FaZe Clan is not impressed. Yeah, really. Maybe instead of trying to capture the four, I should just go for the gold. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, that union is so screwed. The single horse. <laughs> the single horse of the union. All right, union, we got this. Here we go. Let's give him a taste of unity. Show him how we do it in the union. Come here. Come here. Oh. Ooh, I got him. Look at that union. Oh, crap. I was like, why didn't my guy spawn back in? Okay, so now our western front is completely undefended. That's not good. It's hard to get momentum going in this. I got to get more momentum. Need some more gold. I got five gold right now. Can I buy like a machine gun? Can the Union buy like an AR-15 for itself? Weather protection? Weather can block your unit, okay. And protective cavalry protects from them. Okay, so basically just buy units. Yeah, place them. All right, we're moving back down. Here we go. I've got this. Deserts are my specialty. Ooh, a perfect shot. Ooh, a perfect shot. All right, blast him. Take him out. So much for the Pony Express. That was good, dude. That was a good victory for the Union. All right. Lincoln's getting reelected this time. Yeah, take the valuable lighthouse. Oh, I got the lighthouse. Oh, it's so over. It's so over. The South totally got Union, the dude. They're totally getting unioned. They got, they got no gold. They got to get their gold back. Ha! <laughs> two gold. They got two gold. What are you guys going to do with two gold, huh? I can't even buy an army. Oh, yeah, more union. Look at that. This is too easy. I still got to win those fort battles, uh, which is a bit of a problem. They're my union heal. Your turn. Oh, yeah, it is. So how do I win? Is it all forts win or is it all enemy armies must die? I think it's all enemy armies must die, and they don't look alive to me. They seem dead, so I don't know. Let's attack the fort. Does, do I get more reinforcements this time because I have, like, a stronger battalion? I should, right? I should have more guys with me. Nope, still just two guys. Oh, God. That sucks. Got to find a defensible spot. The problem is I got no idea where they can come from. They could be anywhere. I got to reload. Oh, no. I'm loading. I'm loading. Also, there's no auto aim help for controller peasants like myself. Kill him. Kill him. Yeah, I need that ammo over there. There's ammo in that yonder cabin. Oh, there's some there too. Nice. Civil War extraction shooter. Unironically, like a Red Dead Redemption extraction shooter could be cool. If it's just Red Dead Redemption online game mode. That probably exists. They probably made that, right? Rockstar is frauds. They just make the best games of all time, then refuse to elaborate. Even though elaboration would be amazing. Where's Undead Nightmare 2, Rockstar? Why didn't you make that? Shot my own guy, whoops. We should win, right? There should be a Union W. Oh, there he is. 
Yeah, my allies just don't help. I don't even know why they're here. Because the enemies only target me, it looks like. And the allies miss every shot. All right, one more. There he is. We did it. Oh, yeah. Achievement unlock. Let's go, Union. Union. The Union forever. Well done. Those cursed Confederate scoundrels have finally surrendered after six long months. Long live the Union. Long live Grant. Long live Lincoln. And long live the USA. Wait, I won for that? I won for that? I didn't even do anything. I killed one fort. Uh, I guess 1862 is harder. It looks like there's more armies. The tie at the Battle of Bull Run is a false start for the two warring parties, but now the South is led by Lee's skillful hand. Operations are about to change pace. Okay, so there's more armies in this year. I kind of wish all the years were the same. I mean, they were unlocked at the beginning. It'd be interesting if this, like, changed the map. Do I have any money? I got one gold. Not enough gold. Okay, yeah, this gave me way more starter armies. So move him down there. We gotta get that lighthouse. There's always a lighthouse. Uh, we'll go here. And this guy will do battle. I'm doing battle. I'm doing battle. Looks like a phone game. Yeah, it might very well be a phone game for all I know. It's got phone game vibes. Kill their cannon. Oh, he moved out of the way, you jerk. Oh, he's gonna kill my guys! No! Oh, I walked him right into it. Oh, I'm so sorry, my guys. Don't you dare attack my horses. Give him a taste of grape shot. I'm grape shotting? I'm grape shotting? Ooh, saber. Ooh, saber. 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 Oh, I sabered them so hard. Saber, saber. I'm sabering. Oh, my cannon died. Crap. Kill one of them. No, gun guy. Oh, he missed his one shot. His one opportunity. Ah. Terrible. Free fort up top, is there? Oh, yeah, there's. I didn't even get the other fort. I should have got that. Whoops. Oh, God, now the Confederates is going to take that fort and win. It's over. It's so over for the Union, dude. It's so over. The Union's got no chance. All it took was six guys dying, and the whole war is a wash. Oh man, look at that Confederate gold. This is not good. If you can win those real-time battles, then it's good. But if you can't, then you're just totally screwed. You got no chance. Give their cannon a blast. The tree got in the way. Oh, cannon move. Cannon move. There we go. Good dodge by the cannon. Ooh, their cannon died. Good, good, good. Kill horses. Kill horses. Fight them. There we go. Cannon back them up. Back them up, cannon. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Look at that multi-kill. Under 2-1. I'm reading 5 plus KIAs. Keep up the fire. The Confederates are not capturing this day. Yeah, they're not. Oh, God. He's going to capture that one. All right, Unions. Same as last time. We had a winning playbook. Oh, they got no one here. They got, like, two guys. Just kill them. Kill them. Kill them. There we go. Union. Is there a way to heal your, like, army? Can you heal your depleted army? This is like if you don't want to play a full like 10 hour campaign of the Empire Total War Civil War mod, but you still want a Civil War battle. You just play this. Oh, they got way more guys than me. That's not good. They got a guy advantage. Hide behind the rocks. Use the rocks for cover. Get him. Oh, I can't shoot from behind the rocks. Crap. All right, horses. Cut him down. Cut him down. Why does my cut him down never work that good? It always works better for the bad guys. All right, cut him down. And cut him down. I got one. It did not work. Can I just back up some more? 
Nobody tell him. Nobody tell him I'm going to cut him down. No one tell him. And cut him down. Now run. Crap. Didn't work. Try again. <laughs> la la la. I'm just, I'm riding away. I'm a coward. I don't want to continue the battle. <laughs> I got another one. All right, one more. Cavalry slice. Perfect. All right, now we got to cut him down over here. Might be harder to cut him down because I got bayonets and guns. That one Union soldier is like, please, please come save me. Forklift backup beeps. Yeah. Cut him down. Oh, ho. all right. Once more. Cut him down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is how you win this game. In 1862, the Union found an amazing new strategy to cut him down. And so the war was won. All right, well, now I know how to win. You just, just got to get one horse on the other side, then you win every battle. Which is good, because I got one horse left. Is that horse... Am I going to be able to maneuver this horse, though? Oh, God. I don't know. Got to outmaneuver him, horseman. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, the maneuver, the maneuver, the maneuver. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. All right, get ready, horse. <laughs> get ready to cut him down. Cut him down. Oh, wait, they can loop back around, can't they? Uh-oh. That's not good. Come on. Cut him down. Wait, they turned around. What? They turned around. They can't do that. That's not in the rules. Cut him down. Oh, they shoot. Cut him down. Cut him down. How am I going to kill the enemy horseman? I don't know how I'm going to kill them. Cut him down. And cut him down. All right, I cut him down. Sudden death. Oh, can I just survive? If I just survive, does it mean I win? Oh, oh, I dodged him. There we go. I guess I'm just playing for sudden death now. Because I don't know how I counter this. Get me out, 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 get me out. Ooh, that was close. That was a close call. And, ooh, cut him down, cut him down. No, oh, so close. Oh, my guy died. Oh, that's frustrating. I was so close. They captured the state. Oh, man, that valiant horseman. He couldn't defeat two armies by himself. Looks like I was the one that got cut down that time. All right, Union. We can't buy an army, so what? I guess I just take the lighthouse state. I guess this is mine. I don't know. I can't do nothing else. A valiant attempt. Yeah, it was valiant. I'm valiant? I'm valiant? Oh my god, they got so much gold. I think I've already lost. They're just going to buy like 500 armies and beat me. I got no chance. Wait, where's the fort battle? Hello? Why didn't I have to do a fort battle to defend against them? They just got the fort. Oh wait, I didn't take that fort. <laughs> I didn't capture that fort. I forgot. That was a fort I forgot to hit A on at the beginning. I right, give him a salvo? Give him a salvo. Oh, the tree blocked my salvo, you stupid tree. Screw you, nature. All right, we got to outmaneuver these guys. Then we cut them down. Ooh, huge cuts, huge cuts. Oh, we got we got to cut them down in enemy territory. Here we go. Cut them down. All right, we win. Oh, we're going to shoot them. That works, too. All right, easy win. Easy win for the Union. This is not looking too good for the boys in blue, I got to say. All right, Union, do we have enough money to buy anything yet? We still got no money. We're still flat broke. Uh, let's go to this fort. Fort battle. I was able to get this fort last time. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to go try hard. I'm going mouse and keyboard. I'm going phase clan sniper. I think my mouse and keyboard aim is worse than my controller aim. 
The sensitivity is like way too high. This is, yeah, this is way too high. I'd be more effective on a controller. But I've committed. The Union deployed a new weapon, along with their cut em down horse strategy. They also had a Logitech mouse. With the LED strip running down the middle. This gave them a huge gamer advantage. Crap. Come on in. Come on in. There's no way that guy hits me from there, right? Oh, I'm in like a firing line. This is bad. Crap. Crap. Alright, bring it on. The Union's reloaded and ready for battle. Top guy down? I beat doors. I can beat this. This is just an easy version of doors. The Civil War is one big match of doors when you think about it. What the? Oh! They flanked me. Stop flanking me. Keep getting flanked, man. That's the Union's biggest weakness, is getting flanked. Crap. 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 Can my allies do anything, please? We need one more kill. One more kill and I got two rounds. I got two more mini balls. Get him. Get him. Oh, God, what button melees? What button melees on mouse and keyboard? <laughs> I don't know what button melees on mouse and keyboard. Uh, you, controller, controller. Hit him with the stick. Hit him with the stick. Yeah, there we go. Okay. In the end, I had to use right stick to melee because I have no idea what key was the melee key. I had to put down the mouse and pick up the controller. An inelegant tactic, but it worked. Haha, -ha, it's raining on the south. It's always raining down there. Narrowly avoided hubris. Yeah, hubris was very narrowly avoided. That could have been a big hubris moment. I almost fell victim in a major way. Remember, switching to your controller is faster than learning the controls. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. They got a substantial force. Is this a field battle? It's a field battle. Come on. I got, I got like crappy defenses that suck. Yay. Yay, the world's worst defenses. Okay, so those were useless. Those were completely useless. Why isn't it a fort battle where I'm defending? What, was, what is that? That sucks. That should have been a... What? A huge disappointment those damn confederates managed to crush you. Oh, yeah, it's not about territory control. It's about army killing. That's. It should be about... It should definitely be about territory, right? It should not be about if your armies are dead, you lose. I can just build a new one. That's kind of annoying. Let's try free mode. Let's do train. I never did a train battle. I never got to see one. Let's see what the train looks like. Attack the train. Oh my god, it's a train FPS? What the... They should have made a whole game of just this. Why do they have a terrible, like, crappy of risk when they could have just had this the whole time? It's literally a train level. This is perfect. It doesn't get any better than this right here. Civil War train battle. The Union will have the Conductor. We will capture him. So should my strategy just be to capture all the rail lines? I feel like the rail lines is the way to go. I need a Uzi. A Uzi would be good for this level. Very close range. This is worse than the time I joined the Mile High Club. Oh crap, I fell off the box. I want those rooftop goods, though. The reticule is red, so I guess I'm aiming at something. Do I just gotta get to the front of the train? Is that what we're measuring here? Probably. Get out of here, you Muppet monstrosities. These guys look like they're in Hello Neighbor. Not Hello Neighbor. What was that new one? The other Hello Neighbor? The Sesame Street one? 
like good time neighborhood or whatever. The friggin' Resident Evil Sesame Street. My Friendly Neighborhood, that's what it's called. They look like they're from My Friendly Neighborhood. Oh yeah, here's the front of the train, here we go. Give me that Confederate gold. How do I get up there? Give me your Confederate gold. Hand it over. Yeah, oh, cutscene. Kill him. <laughs> yeah, kill him. This is my train now. Now all I have to do is turn the train around. Oh, uh, what's that? You, you can't, you can't turn a train around? Huh. Well, trains can go backwards, right? Can't a train, like, go backwards? Is there a go backwards button? Is the hard train, is it gonna be a different train? No, it's the same train, okay. It's the same train as always. <laughs> R.I.P. Union. Yeah, trains can go backwards, okay. But I don't know if that's extremely helpful. If the train is already in enemy territory, I don't know if you can really do it. I don't know if one guy can do much with it besides just disrupt the flow of supplies, which is pretty good. Okay, there's train defense. I want to do train defense. How do you play train defense? Oh my god, they're on horses? It's like Left 4 Dead. Kill the horse. Oh, you can shoot the horse out from under them? Holy crap, this is the best part of the game right here. Why is there a whole strategy part? I mean, I understand why, because the Amiga had that, but they, they could have just called it a Civil War train battle and sold it for 99 cents. I would have bought it. I mean, I already did buy it. I bought this. Why didn't you say you had a train battle? This is much easier than the fort battle as well. It just come right up to you. Can you turn off the real-time combat? Uh, there was an option to, but... I mean, you gotta have it. You can't just be like, this is too hard. I'm gonna turn it off. If I played it for like an hour, I could get good. I could get good at it and always win. I'm out of bullets. I need more bullets. Uh, did I just punch him to death? Get off my train. Tickets, please. There we go. They failed to take control of the Yankee train. Yeah, they did. All right, is there a fort defense? There is fort defense. Fort forest, fort desert, fort beach. I didn't do fort beach. Let me do Fort Beach. Protect the fort. Let's do it. Nobody gets into Fort Beach. Isn't that right, two guys that are always with me? They're the best shots in the whole platoon. That's why they're assigned this special task to defend our fortress. Take them down. You will never take that flag off the wall and replace it with your own. Replace it with your own battle flag. That's not even the right flag, hello. The Empire Total War mod has the right flag. This game does not, this game don't care. This game is just a bunch of cartoon guys punching each other. So disrespectful. Who's still alive? It's you. Get him out of here. Be gone. Nice job, Union, but here comes more. Oh, there's so many. So I wonder what the original battles were like in the Amiga version, because they definitely weren't FPSs. They definitely weren't like Doom clones, because Doom wasn't even out. Probably not very good. Is my guess. It was probably a little cowboy guy walks around and goes. Probably something like that. Sounds about right. I need like a blunderbuss. I need some different guns. It was a two level side scrolling with throwing knives. Huh. Interesting. Victory! Good job. I may not be able to win the war on the strategic map, but I can win in the free play mode. 
Alright, well, let me do an easy mode. Let me just do like a. We'll do an easy battle to see if I can get my grasp on the battle. So you should always start with the cannon blast, right? Because, like, it's pretty good. Once I get my cannon dialed in. Oh, I killed the whole bridge. Yeah, there we go. Easy game. And blast him. Oh, they got my cannon. My cannon. No. Kill him. There we go. Oh, no. Move. Oh. Moving out of the way of the cannon is hard because you have to cycle all your guys. There's a little bit of delay as well. I give him a big blast. Oh, you can see their cannon charging. Okay. I didn't realize you can see their cannon UI charging up. All right, cross the pond. Dodging the cannon blast requires some extremely basic multitasking. Oh crap, oh no. Okay, good, Union still wins. That was too many losses though. Or a horse that walked backwards. Yeah, if a horse walks backwards, that also works. That does it too. Let's do a hard battle. Let's do a hard battle on Fort Cactus. I give their infantry a blast. Give them some grape shot. Ooh, they're coming in hot. They want those horses. Stay away from my horses. I need them. What is the point of different formations? Does that help? I guess that helps dodge cannon. Oh, my cannon died. That's not good. Yeah, it's more maneuverable for fighting the cannon, I think. Oh, what? My guys lose that. Come on. How did my guys lose that? Can the cannon go through the rock? Is the qu It kills the rock. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, they're, they know the backup. Oh, my God. They know how to back up. We're so screwed. We're so screwed, Union. They know how to back up. Or do they? Or do they? Watch this. Ready? No scope. <laughs> Alright, come here, horses. Come on. Bring it on. We got muskets and we're not afraid to use them. Ready, aim. Fire. What? What? That missed. Oh, man. Pathetic. Need to go on a line to fit on the bridge. Oh, yeah. Some of the bridges are pretty narrow. That's true. I will win the hard battle. I can do it. I believe in myself. I blast him. I'm blasting. I'm blasting. Dude, why are my guys sucking? Kill this guy. Okay, we got him. But now I lost all my infantry, which is a, quite a valuable unit to have. Unless the horse can give him one of these. Give him one of these. Give him one of these. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I'm giving it to him. I'm giving it to him. They received. They received. Come on, get him. Cut him up. Cut him up. Yeah, look at that. A victory for the Union. Alrighty. My skills are a little bit better now. They're slightly improved. I'm going to try the campaign again. I'm going to try 1862 again now that I know how to play the game a little bit better. I also won't forget to take the top fort, which is like absolutely crucial. That's a must do. All right, Union, grab that. Good work, Union. All right, Union, grab that. Good work, Union. All right, Union, uh, we gotta go for it, right, Union? We just gotta take him out, take him down. Oh, I can't because it's raining on my guys, lame. Talk about raining on my parade. All right, my goal for this campaign is to rob their train at least one time. I want that gold. Give me your daggum gold. What a doofus, dude. This confederate uh, guy looks like a doofus. He can't win. Yeah, attack my fortress. See what happens. See what happens. I kind of know how to play now. I can win. The key is not losing your troops. They're a valuable asset. All right, we got the troops secured. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, my troops. My valuable asset. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. It's over. It's over. 
Unless? 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 Crap. No. Oh, it's so over. It's so over. All right, back him up. Back him up. Ooh, maybe not. Maybe not. The Union forever. Yeah, Union. All right, back him up, Union. <laughs> back up battle. We're going to get you guys. We're not going to see you when we do it, but we're going to get you guys. All right, come here. Yeah, Union. Woo. That's how the Union does it. That's how we do it here in the Union Army. Taking the fort right next to the other right off the bat would increase your N-Con? E-Con? Uh, probably? Yeah, I think so, because that's where the trains come from. Oh my god, a battle started. I didn't even realize a battle was going. Horses, move! Alright, blast them. Oh, that was a good shot. Oh, so close. On the bridge? Ooh, gamer bridge, gamer bridge. Oh, they killed my cannon? That's not good. I need that for long range. Don't kill my horses. The horses are the key to any military strategy. All right, there we go. Let's go get him. Right, this guy can just distract him. He's a distraction. He's officer distraction. Sergeant Major. Don't get killed. Oh, barely. He barely died. All right, bring it on. Ugh. Nice trade, nice trade. Not a good trade, actually. Very poor trade. You can't really hit him in the back like this. They have to have at least one other unit alive so the horses won't continually scroll like a shmup enemy. You ordered a retreat? No, I didn't. I didn't order a retreat. Oh, but that counts as a stalemate. Okay, that's a stalemate. So they don't get the territory, that's good. It's not good that they had those reinforcements though. No, my beloved unit, General Fodder. General Cannon Fodder, no. We needed you. All right, we can buy an army, we got some gold, that's good. Let's try to take this fort for that big econ. And by try to take the fort, I, of course, mean succeed. All right, did it say melee was mouse three? Is that what it said? No, I still don't know what button melee is. Crap. Not good. I'm going to have a good grasp on that before heading into war. Sergeant, are you going to show us how to use these bayonets? And uh, what's there to teach? You just point it at him and you kind of do a little stab. I'm taking big damage. This is bad. This is not a good performance here. Crap. There we go. I got one. Come on. Come on. He gets the hit. Okay, I was slow on the draw for that one. I think it's worth taking the extra one second to like aim for the headshot. I think it's worth it. Yeah, they don't even go for the allies, dude. The allies are literally useless. I don't know why they're here. They don't help. They don't earn their keep. All right, three more, three more. Three more on half a health bar. We got this. Oh crap, they're all here. They all heard me. Hey, that there cabin said that they're gonna beat us. No, they're not. Give that cabin what for. The Yankees are capturing the fort. Yeah, they are. Let's go, Yankees. Woo! I shouldn't forget to build an army because I can build an army. Uh, my army will go... Where should my army go? Probably on the existing fort. Well, no, right here they got big reinforcements. Maybe I should just reinforce this one. A decent idea. I reinforce him. 
They got two horses versus my one horse. Okay, it's literally two horses versus one horse, so I can't really win that at all. What do they got here? Oh, they got a full army there. That's not good. Can this one horse accomplish anything by himself? Probably not. Their, their two horses just auto beats the one horse, I think. Unless I just use him to dodge over and over again. If I just constantly dodge, I can win. Securing some of the upper territories would be good for my econ, but I don't got time. I don't got time to secure those. I got to get down here. Let's see. Who's he going for? Is he going to buy a new guy? Oh, my God. He bought a new guy right there. All right. One horse versus two horses. This is not good. I just got to survive for like a minute. Oh, the bridges actually make it way easier to survive. I can just go on whatever the opposite bridge of them is. That really clears things up. Yeah, go up there. Oh, whoa, whoa, they tricked me. Dude, they totally tricked me. Oh, I drowned? What? He went into the water? That's bullcrap. Come on, man. He can drown. It's a horse. The horse should not drown. I cannot believe the horse can drown. That sucks. And so the Yankees lost the war because their horse drowned in a small creek. The end. Ooh, look at that saber. Look at that saber rattling. Look out, troops. Oh, my cannon. Dude, it's my brain literally can't process controlling like three units at once and dodging these cannons. They can't do it. Get behind them. All right, we're behind them. Good. We can win. But first, we got to give it to him. Got to give it to him. Give it to him. Give it to him. Why are my guys so useless, dude? All they got to do is give it to him, and they can't even do that. Give it to him. Give it to him. Give it to him. All right, good. Give it to him. Ooh, they gave it to him pretty good. Ooh, they're giving it to him, dude. Oh, they got reinforced. Crap. All right, give it to him. Give it to him. What's going on down there? Oh, I had a guy left. I think I had a whole reinforcement unit that just got it gave to them. Crap. I right, give it to him. All right, here we go. I can win. I got two. I got two guys. They got one guy. Give it to him. <clears throat> yeah, Union. Woo! Look at that Union victory. That's how we do it in the north. Oh, God. That army is beleaguered. That army is three horses and nothing more. All right, horses. This is a game of maneuver. If we can maneuver to the enemy's rear, we can win. Oh, we win. Easy win, dude. So easy. Easiest win ever. Easiest win ever. All the confused letters these soldiers are writing, yeah. My dearest uh, Chelsea, I'm not really sure what our tactics are. Our general ordered a horse to go drown in the river the other day, saying it was our only hope. War is hell. Signed, your beloved Beauregard. Another one? How many guys have they got, dude? This horse, he can't win the war all by himself. My dearest Penelope. Yet again, I've been ordered by the general to win the whole war myself. A prospect I am not sure I am capable of achieving. Yet I must try. For the honor of the Union. He's Union? He's Union? He's Union? Dude, all, hang on. All I gotta do is survive to sudden death, right? I should just run the clock out on these guys. Although there is no clock. The clock is if all of them die. That's the clock. Now, where's this horse is gonna respawn? Hope they don't respawn up here. They're respawning? Okay, they, I think they had to spawn where they go down, which is good. Alright, sudden death. Run the clock out on them. 
Oh, they spawned there. That's not good. Oh, good, 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 good. That's a good spawn. Yeah, get stuck on the rock. Oh, I went over the rock. Dang it. I'm trying to buy myself some maneuverability here. All right, here we go. We got to dodge him one more time. Three, two, one. Back up faster, horse. Faster. Yes, we did it. The union has prevailed. Yeah, take that, Confederates. With a single horse strategy, we can defend the fort. A new devastating tactic by the Union. A single horseman can just win. He can just win the whole thing by himself. Alright, we got three gold. Now we can buy an army. Now it's time to go on the offensive, I think. They got a beleaguered force there. We can totally take Kentucky. This is a five, five horses. That's strong, dude. That's a strong army. Oh, I probably should have killed the beleaguered force. I probably should have killed them with the horses. Oh, well. We can kill them with a new troop. Uh, should I put a new troop here? Hmm. Because my new troop has to fend off these guys. Yeah, maybe I should just use my new troop to kill. Because this is what? This is the crappiest army? He has two horses. This army sucks. They might be able to threaten my train line, though. That'd be bad. I think if I just put an army here. Oh, this isn't even my uh, place, though. I'll just put an army here. This is a good spot. <laughs> the Gettysburg Address was delivered to that single horseman. Yeah, just him. You were the only one who survived this great and terrible conflict. Now you will hear my words. All right, this should be a free win. This should just be the infantry gets a free win, right? Come on, come on. Okay, good. We lost one guy. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. We win these. We win these. All right, I have a state territory advantage now. Should I just move this guy off this tile to another tile, honestly? Does this count as intercepting a Confederate train? Oh no, it just becomes my territory, so no, it wouldn't. But now I do have the territorial advantage, which is good. That one horse is General Horse, yeah, he's gonna deliver his package of doom. Time for a space haiku. Yeah, try to recruit a new army. You can't. You got no funds. Three horses versus one horse. All right, you know the drill, horse. You know the drill, buddy. Run out the clock on him. This is actually how American football got its start. The art of running out the clock. Once you have the lead, was founded all the way back in the Civil War. That was close. I don't know if I have enough distance to survive another charge. Give me the win, yeah, let's go Union, all right. Another easy Union victory. The Union forever, hurrah, boys, hurrah. What we got here? Oh, five horses versus a whole armada. That's not good. Well, it is five horses, honestly. It's not a, it's not a small amount of the best unit in the game. That's all I'm saying. If we can just get past these guys. Just got to get past them real quick. There we go. Just got to get past them. There we go. And now we start, uh, chop them up. And we just got to chop them up. And now we just gotta chop them up. And now we gotta trade. Time to trade. Time to trade. I'm trading. I'm trading. Forward cavalry. Get a good trade. Ooh, there we go. Look at that trade-in offer. Look at that trade-in deal. Look at the value. Look at the value on that. Huge union value. Ooh, look at those union values. 
Look at that huge value. Two for one special, yeah, really. Mine eyes have seen the glory, oh yeah. I like how the territory control symbol is just Texas for both sides. The Union currently holds 13 Texases, while the South only has nine Texases. This gives the Union a clear advantage. All right, what should we do here? I think if I kill this army, I win, right? That's their last army. I think if I build a guy in this fort and send him in to kill those three horses, the Union gets the W, I think, right? According to the laws of the game, that should be a win for the boys in blue. Texai, yeah, multiple Texases are called Texai. All right, bring it on, horses. Us unions ain't afraid of you. Ooh, they got blasted. They got totally blasted. See, that's why the Confederates didn't win. They weren't very good at utilizing cavalry tactics, unlike the unions. Wait, it's not over? Come on, I totally won. I totally wiped those guys. They're not going to buy a new army anytime soon, tell you that much. Is the fort give him a free army? Should I go for this fort? I'm forting, I'm forting. I feel like the win condition should be capture all forts instead of kill all armies. That makes more sense. Although it's very easy to put them in a death spiral where they can't afford any more armies and he just walk on down. He just Sherman's march him. You spiraling, you spiraling? I'm way too exposed. This is a bad spot. That's where I won from last time, though. It has historical precedent. History is written by the guy whose gun reloads the fastest. I'm going to lose this battle. The Union did not capture the fortress. Holy crap, what happened? Can I get a medkit around here, please? Please, Johnny Reb, can I have one? Don't you dare melee me! Oh, man. Got totally punched. But the Yankees are not capturing the fort. Yeah, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Get it? I right, move him. Take that territory. Yeah. All right, Yankees should win, right? That's a Union victory. They don't got no guys left. And I still didn't get to rob a train. Yeah, they only got two gold. They can't even buy a guy. Enemy turn. What are they going to do? They don't have anybody. The Yankee train is moving. Yeah, move. Give me that gold. So is it a territory thing now? We've yet to see Mexico or the Native Americans. Yeah, I, they're just sitting there on the border. I'm waiting for them to do something. I don't know if they have like their own custom battle or if they just like seize the territory. I have no idea. Can you switch to the Red Sox? Now we gotta be Yankees, unfortunately. Maybe you do a train fight if you take territory between the four. So you do a train fight if I go here. Yeah, 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 yeah. You were right. Yeah, yeah. What you're saying, what you're saying is correct. You do a train fight if you have the train track, but not the fort where it starts at. Let's build a let's build an army. Might as well build an army right here. Can I order my guys to go into the Mexican territory? Actually, I don't think I can because the cursor doesn't go that far. Hmm. Take the entire rail line. Yeah. Got your rail. We got your railway. Oh, I just I just gave them a win. They're just gonna be able to. Buy an army now. Or are they? Can I take their gold? If I take their gold, they can't buy an army. Hmm. I take the train. Choo choo. They probably don't have an infinite spawn, right? They probably got limited guys. 
Sorry, Confederates. I played a lot of Uncharted 2 train part. That was the best part. That part was so cool. Nathan and Drake would probably have a hard time winning if he had to use a musket, though. He kind of relies heavily on hastily slung across the shoulder automatic weapon type weapons. He needs an AK-47 with a carrying strap to win his game. I also played Red Dead Redemption. That's got train robbing on it with more more of a similar rate of fire to this. Nathan Drake has no problem killing with any weapon. That's true. He's very versatile in his murder abilities. He'll kill you with anything. Any heavy object he can get his hands on, he'll shoot you with it. Even if it's not a gun, he'll still shoot you with it. All right, here we go. Punch him. I love punching the driver of the train. It's great. Give him a punch. Kablam! That was for Lincoln. That one's for Lincoln. Confederate scum. The Yankees have intercepted the train. Spoils two gold. Oh, I got their gold. Nice. Their gold belongs to me. Enemies turn. Again, what are they? They don't have any money. They can't buy an army. Is it only going to end when I capture the fort? Is that actually the win condition? Because it told me the win condition was winning. It said the win condition was killing all their guys, and their guys have been dead for like five turns now. I guess it's the fort. I suppose. Oh, so much money. So much Yankee gold. I kind of wish I could total war this and like auto-resolve the fort battle with my superior forces just to get it over with. Because for some reason, I'm not doing too good attacking these forts. It's not going great. For some skill issue type reason. You may win when you get him to one fort? Yeah, maybe. Who did that? Who the heck did that? Who's doing this? I didn't win this one. I already lost half my health bar. What the heck is going on? Get me inside of a building. Yeah, I already lost. I lost this fort battle. Unless that's health over there. Is there even health pickups in this? Oh, there is. Okay, hang on. Hang on. We're back in the game. I'll take those pharmaceuticals. The health pickup should just be sawing off your leg. Civil War doctor style. Come on, that was on his head. Give me a headshot for that. I earned it fair and square. Might have to find more health. What the? Stop it. I hate that melee. That's a quote from real Civil War soldiers. Quote, I hate that melee. I'd rather just pot shot each other from across a field for a few hours and have to use a bayonet. That would suck. Are you health? Oh, you're just ammo. I need health. I need health, Confederates. Where do you keep the pills around here? <laughs> Where do you guys keep the med kit? Where's the med kit in your fort? Oh, here we go. Oh, it's so over now. I'm all pilled up. I got painkiller. I got painkiller. Need that one that copies the load out of the guy who killed you. I should have bling equipped to put two attachments on my musket. Oh, crap, out of ammo. Oh, don't punch me to death. That'd be embarrassing. Again, no idea what button punches on mouse and keyboard. I'm sacrificing the good aim for not being able to melee, which not being able to melee is actually very detrimental. There's a lot of that going on in this here conflict. What, like this guy right here. Get out of here. All right, one more. We need one more kill. Where's he at? Where's the last guy? There he is. He's one shot. Ooh, there we go. That was close. Alright, we got their fort. Do I win now? 
There we go. Well done. Those cursed Confederate scoundrels have finally surrendered after five long months. Long live the Union. Long live Grand. Long live Lincoln. And long live the USA, baby. Those states just got united. I got an achievement for winning in five months. Nice. Just out of curiosity, what is like the 1863 start state? Oh, it just adds more stuff. Okay, so it looks like it's just more troops. So just more battles. I mean, having more troops makes it more realistic. It lasts longer than like five seconds. This is a fun little game, though. I give this game a, it's worth like five bucks. It's all right. I mean, you probably won't play it for more than like an hour or two, unless you have nostalgia for the Amiga version, in which case, honestly, hang on. I bet you that the Steam reviews for this are saying the game is terrible because it's not exactly like the Amiga version. I bet anything. I bet you a million Confederate golds. Turn the trailer off. This new version will delight fans of the original game. Uh, maybe if you hadn't turned a train and Ford attacks into a clunky FPS. Okay, that's what I was looking for. That guy didn't like it. The original was great. This is not. The controls are atrocious. The AI is bad, and the user interface is overloaded with bad graphics. Don't buy, don't take for free, just avoid. Would refund if this wasn't a bundle. What on earth is this abomination? It has nothing to do with the original North and South. That much is for sure. Don't waste your time with this. Not even if you get it for free. Okay, it's a good game. Solid game. 15, they won 15? This should be like three bucks, dude. Honestly, this should be like 99 cents in the Google Play App Store. That's what this game should be. Fif okay, it's not worth 15 bucks. It's okay. It's pretty fun for what it is. But 15, you can buy Empire Total War for $15. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Free with ads, yeah. Watch an ad between each train battle. Oh my god. Watch an ad to continue the train battle. Watch an ad to continue watching this video.